and former head coach Gene Corum will never forget the sensational 63-48 victory in 1965, one of the greatest collegiate games of all time. We came into the game and of course we thought it would be a cliffhanger and reasonably low scoring game. We had no reason to think it was going to be a high scoring game. But the uh, first three times we got the ball, we scored. But then Pitt kept working back. <laughs> and uh, it seemed like uh, both teams, we would, we would hold for two downs. Then something would break loose. Running back Garrett Ford, number 32, rushed for over 200 yards and three scores that day, while quarterback Alan McCune threw five touchdown passes in one of the wildest Saturday afternoons ever in Old Mountaineer Field. Our scout who was scouting the, the next team, uh, I don't recall exactly where he was, but he was in a press box scouting our next opponent. And of course, he was, kept, he was interested in getting our pitch score. And he kept coming in 28, 27, and the second quarter, <laughs> 35, 34, beginning at the half, or some, some such scores. And he said, uh, they, they kept sending back, uh, please send corrected score. The unbelievable final score of 63-48 went down as the highest scoring Division I game in history. But more importantly for the Mountaineers, it marked another sweet victory over arch-rival Pitt. <laughs>